आज इस वीडियो में हम आ खान यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन बोर्ड क्लास टेंथ एनअल एग्जामिनेशन 2021 फिजिक्स पेपर वन सॉल्व करेंगे जिसमें हमारे पास टोटल 50 एम सी क्यूज हैं आउट ऑफ दो दीज फिफ्टी फोर्टी आर फ्रॉम थ्योरी एंड टेन फ्रॉम आर ऑल्टरनेट टू प्रैक्टिकल सो लेट्स कम टू आर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑफ दिस ईयर ट्वेंटी so here we have question number 20 uh, question number 1 if the particles of the medium are uh, vibrates in the direction perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave then the wave is known as so the question says that the particles of the medium are vibrating in the direction of propagation of wave so the type of mechanical wave in which particles of the medium propagate along the direction of waves this is for example the particle of the motion and wave is propagating in this direction so the type of wave in which particles move along the direction of wave or to and fro or parallel to the direction of wave this type of wave is known as longitudinal wave so option c is the right answer for this question number 1 now let's see question number 2 if the frequency of the wave is doubled so what will happens to the time period of the wave so the relation between the frequency and the time period is f equals 1 over t as we can see from this formula that uh, these two parameters of the wave are inversely proportional to each other so increasing one will decrease the other and if the frequency is doubled then the time period will become half so the correct answer for question number 2 is option b now let's come to question number 3 if the time period of a simple pendulum is 2 seconds on earth then the time period of the same pendulum on the surface of the moon will be so as we know that the time period of simple pendulum is equals to 2 pi square root l over g so from so from this uh, given formula time period is inversely proportional to square root of gravitational acceleration so the if the time period on the surface of earth is 2 seconds so we know that the gravitational acceleration on the surface of uh, earth is 10 meters per second square and uh, at the surface of moon gravitational acceleration is around uh, 1.6 meters per second square that is less than on the surface of earth so if uh, this means that the gravitational acceleration is decreased so the time period of the simple pendulum will increase so it will be greater than 2 seconds so the correct answer Answer for the question number three is option A. Let's see question number four and uh, then five. If a mechanical wave moves from a rare medium into the dense medium, so there is a change in the medium, so the wave will change the direction of propagation. The question asks that which of the following factors will change during this process of refraction? So as we know that while moving from rare medium to dense medium, the direction of propagation changes as well as the velocity. velocity and wavelength also changes the factor that uh, remains constant is the frequency of the wave the question ask about the factor that changes so those factors are wavelength and speed so while moving from rare medium to the denser medium these two characteristics decreases and while moving from denser to rare medium the wavelength and speed increases while the frequency remains constant so the correct answer for question number 4 will be 1 and 2 that these characteristics will remain same uh, will change 
Then we have question number 5. In uh, the given figure, the frequency of the wave of the source is 3 Hz. And uh, we have to find the velocity of the wave. We know that the velocity of the wave is equals to uh, wavelength multiplied by frequency. So frequency is given in our question that is 3 Hz. So let's substitute F with 3. While for lambda the we are given with the uh, in this diagram that's from this point to this point it is equal to one wavelength and uh, the total number of waves in this uh, diagram is four so there are four waves in total of 60 centimeter so if we divide 60 by 4 we will get the wavelength lambda equals to 60 over 4 is 15 centimeter so wavelength is 15 and frequency is 3 so velocity will become 45 meters per seconds so the correct answer for this question number 5 will be option d 45 centimeters per seconds now let's see question number six and seven sound energy passing through a unit area that is held perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave so this is actually the definition of uh, intensity of sound the energy passing through a unit area in a unit time so this uh, quantity that is joules per seconds per meter square is known as intensity of uh, sound so the correct answer for this question number six is option c when a sound is incident on the surface of the medium, it bounces back into the first medium. So there is the bouncing back of wave from uh, when it travels from one medium into another medium. So sound wave is bounced back and this phenomena is known as reflection of sound and specifically reflection of sound wave is known as echo so the right answer for this question number seven is option a then we have question number eight which of the following characteristics of a musical sound depends upon frequency so the characteristic of sound that differentiate between the shrill sound and the grave sound is uh, depend on the frequency of the sound the uh, more the frequency the sound is shrill while uh, less the frequency the sound is grave and the characteristics that can differentiate between these two types of sound is known as pitch of the sound so the right answer will be option a for question number eight then we have question number nine which of the following optical media is used for to correct the short-sighted person so the short-sightedness is the one in which the image is formed in front of the retina for a far object for example this is the eyeball and uh, the person that is seeing the far object the image is formed in front of the retina So this is the diagram formed for the short-sighted person when it is seeing the far object images formed in front of the retina and to correct this disease we will introduce a diverging lens in front of the eye to move this uh, meeting point or the position of image onto the retina so that the person can see clearly. So this lens, diverging lens is a concave lens that is used to correct the short-sighted person when it is seeing the far object so for question number nine the option b is the right answer 
Then we have question number 10 and 11 which of the all of the following are uh, the uses of the compound microscope except for the one. So it is used for observing the microorganism that is the use of a compound microscope. The compound microscope helps human being in the field of medical testing. This is the correct one. It is used in the forensics to examine ev evidences from a crime scene. This is the correct use of a compound microscope and uh, the option C that helps to find the heavenly body in the outer space. This is the use of actually a telescope. So the right answer for this question number 10 is option C. Then we have question number 11. An object is placed between the principal focus and the center of curvature that is uh, 2F. So the position of object is F and 2F. So this is something the diagram that is formed uh, for the object that is placed between F and 2F and we know that the image formed by this object will be beyond 2F. So option C is the right answer for this question number 11. Now let's come to question number 12. Which of the following is our conditions that are necessary for the total internal reflection? We know that the total internal reflection is the phenomena when a ray of light traveling from denser to rare medium and uh, it strikes with the angle greater than critical angle so light bounces back into the denser medium. This phenomena is the total internal reflection. So this condition is true for angle of incidence, angle I is greater than the critical angle then uh, light ray must travel from uh, dense to rare medium it's mean this condition is incorrect and the second condition is also incorrect so uh, angle of incidence is uh, always equal to angle of refraction this is the second condition so the right answer for this question number 12 will be one only that is option A. Now let's come to question number 13. An image is formed at a distance of 32 centimeters. So this is the uh, position of image Q from a concave mirror that is a diverging mirror and has a focal length of 12 centimeters. So this is focal length that will be negative. We have to find the object distance that is P. So the formula for the object distance P is equals to FQ divided by Q minus f so let's substitute this value and divide this uh, ratio so uh, this uh, concave mirror is while a converging mirror so the focal length is taken as negative and the q is 32 that is positive so while substituting the values we will get 19.2 centimeters so the correct answer for this question number 13 is option b uh, let's see question number 14. The floor of the tank appears to be at a depth of 3 meters. So this is the apparent depth and the refractive index of water is 1.33. We have to find the actual depth of water. So the formula for the refractive index is equals to uh, real depth divided by apparent depth. So let's substitute the formula. Uh, refractive index is actually 1.33 equals to real depth. Uh, we have to find the real depth and the apparent depth is 3. So real depth will be equal to 1.33 multiplied by 3 so for question number 14 the correct answer will be 3.99 meters that is in option d so option d is the right answer 
Now let's come to question number 15. Compare to the eyepiece of a compound microscope, focal length of the objective lens of an astronomical telescope is. So as we know that uh, the compound microscope and uh, in our telescope, the eyepiece, uh, focal length of eyepiece is compared. We know that in compound microscope, the focal length of eyepiece is greater than the focal length of objective lens while in telescope the focal length of eyepiece is smaller than the focal length of objective lens so if we compare the focal lengths of these two microscopes and telescope so the focal length of a telescope uh, uh, focal length of the uh, astronomical telescope, the eyepiece uh, will be larger. So option A is the right answer. Then we have question number 16. Which of the following statement is true about the image formed by a concave mirror? Concave mirror is a mirror that is the div uh, diverging mirror and diverging mirror is always form the image that is smaller than object that is uh, virtual and erected. So the correct answer will be option C that the image is always smaller than the object. Then we have question number 17. In a compound microscope, the focal length of the objective lens as compared to the eyepiece. So as we have discussed in the previous question, in compound microscope, the focal length of uh, the objective lens is less than the focal length of eyepiece. So the correct answer of this question number 17 will be option B. Now we have question number 18. Two capacitors of capacitance 3 microfarad and 3 microfarad are connected in series with a 18 volt battery and we have to find the equivalent capacitance. So for series combination the total capacitance formula is 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So if we substitute the values 1 over C will be equals to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 that will be equal to 1 plus 2 over 6 and 3 over 6 and C will be equals to 6 over 3 that is 2 micro Farad. So option A will be the right answer in question number 18. Then we have question number 19. All of the following are the precautionary measures uh, should be taken during the installation of any electrical equipment except Turn off all attached peripherals means uh, all the connection should be disconnect while uh, installation of any uh, electrical equipment. This is the correct one. Disconnect any telecommunication line from the system. So this is the correct one. Wear shoes with non-conducting or uh, rubber soles. This is incorrect. And attach the electrical equipment to the AC power. That is the uh, uh, that is not the uh, thing that should be done before installing the any electrical equipment. So option B is the right answer for this question number 19. Uh, photocopier and inkjet printers. These two are the uh, devices that works on the principle of electrostatics. So the correct answer for this question number 20 will be option C. Uh, question number 21. The direction of electric intensity to an electric and electric field can be indicated by drawing lines and these lines are known as electric field lines. These lines are used to represent electric field intensity as as well as the electric field. So option A is the right answer for question number 21. In question number 22, the electric force of repulsion between two electrons at a distance of 1 meter. So we have to find the force that is equals to K Q1 Q2 over R square. 
so after substituting the values of q1 and q2 and k this is the value of k and this is the value of q1 and q2 so and uh, this is the distance of uh, between the charges r so after substituting the values the correct answer for question number 22 is option c now let's come to question number 23 the equivalent capacitance of the given combination of capacitors will be so as we can see these capacitors are connected in uh, parallel combination and for parallel combination total capacitance is the sum of all the capacitance so total answer would be 5 plus 5 plus 5 15 microfarad so correct answer is option D now let's see question number 24 all of the following appliances are connected parallel to each other between live and neutral wire. In the light of the given statement, which of the following statement is true for electric current and potential difference? So we know that in parallel combination, current I remain, uh, current I is divided while the potential difference V is same. So for question 24, option c would be the right answer that electric current changes while potential difference remains constant now let's see question number 25 if three resistors of uh, five ohms are connected to form a triangle the resistance between any two of these vertices will be so let's suppose these are the three uh, uh, these are the three resistances that forms our triangle and uh, the resistance between any two vertices of this triangle will be and all of these are 5 ohms so these are the three vertices of our triangle and if you can see uh, between any two uh, vertices the uh, resistance of the Y is 5 ohms between these two vertices the resistance is 5 ohms and between these two resistances the resi resistance is 5 ohm so between any two terminals of this triangle formed with three uh, same resistance the total uh, resistance between any two of the vertices is 5 ohms so option C is the right answer now let's come to our question number 26 if the length and diameter of a solid cylinder conductor is double then what will be its effect on the resistance of that conductor so we know that resistance is equal to rho l over a where a is the area or cross-sectional area of the conductor so it will become rho l over pi r square then uh, if we double the length of the conductor the resistance would become double so it will become 2 rho l divided by uh, pi and uh, r is equal to d over 2 so it will become d square over 2 let's further simplify this expression so it will become 2 rho l divided by 4 pi d square so as we can see we have uh, we had doubled the length of the conductor and doubled the diameter of uh, the conductor so the effect of uh, the uh, effect on the resistance will uh, actually decrease by 2 or reduce to half so resistance will become rho l over 2 pi d square so the correct answer for this question number 26 is option a then we have question number 27 if 3 
equal resistor and a battery are given then how many different combination of workable circuits can be made so let's suppose we have three resistance so we can uh, connect all three resistance into a series combination with a battery so this is the first circuit similarly one another simple circuit is such that we can uh, uh, connect all of them in parallel combination so this is one more uh, combination of these three resistance and uh, let's say we have connect two resistance in series while the third one in parallel with them so we have in other combination of resistance and uh, one more way we can uh, solve or we can connect these three resistance is two resistance in parallel and the third one is series so we can actually make four combination different combination of circuits with this given three resistor so the correct answer is option b now let's come to our next question that is question number 28 consider two metallic conductors a and b suppose the length of a metallic conductor a is increased in cross-sectional area of uh, the metallic con conductor b is also increased so what will be the effect on both of these conductor so we know that resistance is equal to rho l over a so for conductor a the length is increased so by increasing the length its resistance also increases because resistance is directly proportional to length of the conductor in the same way and the cross-sectional area of the uh, metallic conductor b is increased and we know that resistance is inversely proportional to cross-sectional area so while increasing the uh, cross-sectional area the resistance would decrease so for conductor b r will decrease so the correct answer for question number 28 will be uh, option b in which resistance of the conductor a is increased and b is decreased now let's see question number 29 and in 29 uh, the energy dissipated by a hundred watt bulb in 60 seconds so the formula for energy is equal to power multiplied by time so power is 100 and the time is 60 so the result would become 6000 joules so correct answer for 29 will be option D now we have question number 30 which of the following points from 1 to 4 in the given circuit will receive the lowest magnitude of current so we have 1 2 3 and 4 we have 4 points and uh, in 4 points we have uh, almost uh, 3 2 5 and 1 6 total 6 resistance of equal magnitude we know that resistance is uh, the opposition in the in the flow of current when the resistance is more the i decreases so in point three point three we have only one resistance let's say these resistance are of two ohms all of these resistance are two ohms so in the path 4 there will be the maximum current because there is no resistance at point 4 at point 3 we have the resistance of 2 ohms at point 2 we have the resistance of 4 ohms and at point 1 we have a resistance of 6 ohms so greater the resistance the lowest will be the magnitude of current so option a that is point 1 is the right answer for this question 30 let's see question number 31 
the purpose of using transformer uh, in the circuit is to alternate the alter the electrical power adjust the electrical energy fluctuate the magnetic field or change the voltage or current so transformer is a device that is used to increase or decrease the ac voltage and ac current ac voltage and ac voltage uh, ac voltage and ac current can be increased or decreased with the help of a device that is known as transformer so option d is the right answer for this question number 31 then we have question number 32 the direction of force on a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field can be determined by a rule that is known as Fleming's left hand rule in which we have thumb and uh, forefinger and uh, middle finger these three fingers can be uh, stretched perpendicular to each other such that the thumb represents the force the forefinger represents the magnetic field and the middle finger represents the direction of current option d we have is the right answer if a conductor passes through a magnetic field twice with a different speed then which of the following option is correct with respect to the speed and induce emf in the conductor so we know that the uh, value of induced emf is directly proportional to the speed of conductor the greater the speed the greater will be the magnitude of emf produced in that conductor so greater the speed and emf uh, electromotive force will increase option a is the right answer if the current through a coil of an electromagnet reverses then what happens to that conductor so the direction of magnetic field also reverses let's say we have a conductor in which this is the direction of uh, current and the magnetic field produced around it is in the form of uh, concentric circles so this magnetic field is directly proportional to the amount of current and inversely proportional to the distance from the conductor and the direction of field reverses as we reverses the direction of current through that conductor so the correct answer will be option c that when we reverse the direction of current the magnetic field around it also reverses electromagnets are commonly used in all of the following electrical instruments except for the one so generators are uh, devices in which electromagnets are used motors dc motors are the one in which electromagnet is used and a toaster in which electromagnets are used so the correct answer for 35 is option a in which electrical iron there is a bimetallic strip that uh, works on the principle of thermal expansion so option a is the right answer for this question which of the following is the symbol for NAND gate? So in option A we have a NOT gate. Then we have option C that is the R1. Then we have this is NAND and the last one that is NOR. So uh, the, the correct symbol for the NAND gate is in option B. The cathode ray oscilloscope CRO is not used as a voltmeter to measure the alternate and direct current 
टू मेजर द इफेक्ट ऑफ बैकग्राउंड रेडिएशन एंड टू स्टडी द इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑन द मूविंग चार्जेस सो दीज थ्री आर द कॉमन यूज ऑफ अ सी आर ओ कैथोड रे ऑस्किलोस्कोप सी इज द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन दैट इज द नॉट यूज ऑफ अ सी आर ओ टू मेजर द इफेक्ट ऑफ बैकग्राउंड रेडिएशन वी हैव सम बैकग्राउंड रेडिएशन डिटेक्टर थ्रू विच वी कैन मेजर द बैकग्राउंड रेडिएशन ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर All of the following are the fundamental logic operations or logic gate except for the one. So or is the basic operation and is the basic operation and not is the basic fundamental operation. C option C the nor one is the uh, combination of not and or gate. So C is the right answer. in thermionic emission when a filament is heated a beam of tiny particles is emitted from it and these particles are known as thermionic electrons they uh, that are emitted from a heated metal filament or heated metal uh, surface these particles are electrons or we can also say that these are thermionic electrons because they are emitted through the process of thermionic emission in electronics the characteristics of analog quantity are uh, is that they changes continuously with respect to time so they have a continuous set of values for a given range of time so this is the definition of uh, the analog quantities or analog uh, f- uh, analog electronics in which the quantities that uh, changes continuously with respect to time like the atmospheric pressure or the temperature around uh, temperature of the surrounding these are the analog quantities so to deal with them we have analog electronics so the correct answer for this question number 40 is option c So that was the end of our theory p- uh, questions in which we have a total of 40 MCQs then we have a last 10 set of uh, MCQs that are related to our practicals named as alternate to practicals so first of all we have the 41 41st question related to our practicals In a science lab Rubia and Kiran performed the experiment of a simple pendulum they used the same metallic bob but they got the different results of time period so both of these students have the same bob it means they have the same mass but still they got the different time period so we know that the time period is directly proportional to square root of length and the time period is directly inversely proportional to the square root of gravitational acceleration these two uh, students were working in the same lab so we can assume that the gravitational acceleration for both of the students remain same so the time period may only changes due to to the change in length so if they have got the different results for the time period this means that they both uh, students have got the different length of the pendulum so the correct answer for this question number 41 would be option c that they have taken the different length of pendulum so that they have got the different time periods let's see question number 42 A simple pendulum of length 1 meter is placed at a location where there is acceleration due to gravity equals 10 meters per second square then its time period will be so we know that the simple formula for the calculation of time period is 2 pi square root of l over g so 2 pi would be 2 into 3.14 and a square root of uh, length is 1 and gravity is 
10 so we can simply solve this uh, uh, equation 2 multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by a square root of 0 0.1 so this expression gives 1.98 seconds so the correct answer for this uh, question number 42 will be option C that is the right answer Kasim a student a student of grade 10 has been given a task by his uh, by his teacher to find the image of an object that should be real inverted and of same size so these uh, these are the characteristics of the image that is produced by the student by using a concave mirror to fulfill this task Kasim should where should the Kasim place the object so we know that the concave mirror is a converging mirror and it can form both a real and virtual type of image the size of the image depends on the position of the object because this type of mirror can form equal small or large image so real inverted and of same size the image could be formed when the position of the object is at 2f or at 2 uh, or at the position or point of center of curvature so the correct answer would be the option c at option b at the center of curvature let's see question number 44 that which of the following represents the refraction of light so we have to identify the correct uh, uh, option or the correct diagram of the ray of light passing through a parallel sided glass slab so if we can see in the first option that the incident ray strikes from A to glass and it bends towards the normal and while from leaving the uh, glass into the air it should bend away from the normal so that the path of incident ray and emergent ray would remain same. So option A is the wrong one. Similarly, if we can see the option C, the incident ray entering from A to glass is bent uh, towards the normal while leaving from glass to air. It has traveled into uh, traveled in the straight line. That is the incorrect one because while changing the medium, light always uh, changes its direction of propagation. In option D, we have the incident ray traveling from A to glass. It bends towards the normal while uh, leaving the glass into the air. The light is bent away from the normal. But the uh, problem is that the incident ray and emergent ray are not in the same direction because this parallel sided glass slab always uh, bends the ray uh, the emergent ray and the incident ray are always parallel so the option d is the incorrect one so the right answer for this question is option b in which incident ray traveling from a to glass bends towards the normal and while leaving the glass bends away from the normal such that the incident ray uh, and emergent ray stays parallel to each other so option d is the right answer now let's see question number 45 when object is placed in front of a convex lens that is our converging lens that has a focal length of 15 centimeters and uh, this is the focal length that can be taken as positive a virtual image is formed at a distance of 10 this means this is the uh, distance of image that can be taken as negative because this is a virtual type of image so we have to find the distance of object so we know that the uh, object distance is equal to f times q divided by q minus f so let's substitute the values from uh, the question and the given data 
so here we have substituted the values and after calculating the object distance comes to be six centimeter so option d is the right answer of this question let's see our next two questions when a very high resistance is connected in series with galvanometer so very high resistance connected in series with the galvanometer so this galvanometer is converted into our voltmeter let's say we have this galvanometer and if we connect a very high resistance let's say our edge so this galvanometer now converts into a uh, voltmeter similarly if we can connect this same galvanometer with a very low resistance connected in parallel so this is low resistance known as shunt resistance so this galvanometer is converted into a into an m meter so the correct answer for this question is voltmeter option b is the right answer if in a series combination the number of bulbs are increased then what will happen to the uh, circuit it will increase the voltage in the circuit so let's say these three bulbs are connected in series and we know that in series combination the current remains same while the voltage is uh, decrease at each of the component so voltage cannot be increased so option a is the wrong one similarly increase the flow of electric current is also incorrect because if we increase the number of bulb in series it would increase the total resistance of the circuit and increasing the resistance current would decrease so the correct uh, option d is the wrong one and for option C decrease the resistance in the circuit that is the incorrect one because when we add further bulbs in the circuit in series combination the total resistance of the circuit increases that uh, uh, total resistance increases so op that makes uh, option C the incorrect one so the last option that is the option B this is the right answer for this question that uh, if we increase the number of bulbs with that this would, would decrease the brightness of the bulb because each uh, the total voltage V of the circuit will be divided in each of that bulb so the option B is the right answer then we have question number 48 all of the following statements are true about the magnetic field lines except for the one so they do not intersect each other this is the correct characteristic of magnetic field lines they form a continuous closed path this is the uh, correct statement or the characteristic property of magnetic field lines they always form a continuous closed path from uh, north pole to the south pole Option C says that appears in the direction of tangent at any point in the magnetic field lines. This is the correct one. Tra it travels from north to south pole outside the current carrying a uh, circular coil. So this is the incorrect one that says that they travels from south to north. So this would be a right answer. We have to identify the incorrect characteristic of magnetic field lines. We have question number 49. If an end gate is connected with two inputs A and B to light a bulb, the bulb will glow when the condition of A and B are. We know that the end gate or end operation works in such a way that its output is 1 when all the inputs of this AND operation or AND gate is 1. So 1.1 1 .1 is equal to 1 or 1 we can say that this is the ON condition and this is the ON condition. So output will also be ON. So the correct answer for this question will be option C. So here we have the last question of uh, this uh, year 2021 and uh, the question says that we have a table 
truth table that depicts the OR gate with some error so we have to identify the uh, incorrect uh, logic state given by the OR gate so let's say we have two inputs p and q and its uh, output is r or operation is represented by the positive sign p plus q equals r so if we can recall the or operation or operation works in a such a way that if any of the input is one the output of that uh, or operation remains one so one plus zero is one zero plus one is one and one plus one is equal to one the or gate gives zero only when all of its input are zero so zero one is zero this is the incorrect one one zero is zero this is incorrect one and zero into zero is zero this is correct one and one one pq gives r one this is the correct one so the correct answer for uh, this question number 50 is uh, option c that uh, three and four these are logic states are error free so the correct answer for this last question of this year 2021 is option c